What is going on YouTube? So today I kind of want to do a little bit of a different video. As you guys can see, you're looking at my uh, three consoles here. Uh, one, you got the Xbox One, then you got the PS2, and then the PS3. So if you guys have been watching any of my gameplay commentaries, then pretty much all I've been doing is the uh, PS2 and then the PS3. So I wanted to show you guys today how basically I go about recording um, each of my gameplay commentaries. You guys have probably seen a lot of people do videos like this, but... Uh, I just want to do mine individually. So I've got a little bit of an older video card, um, but it still works really well. I use the uh, Davil, or Pinnacle Dazzle DVC-100. And Sorry, it's kind of a mess of cords right here. But as you guys can see there, it's the normal uh, DVC-100 white video card. Um, if I can find the other end of the USB, that's what plugs into the computer. So um, I just want to show you guys a little setup right quick. So as you guys can see for the PS3, I normally use an HDMI, but for my Dazzle, I can only use the red, yellow, white, uh, the regular RCA cables, and uh, that's what I got plugged into right now, and obviously when you use the PS2, that's all you can. Um, I know one of the more popular video cards, or one of the more popular capture cards for the Xbox One is the Elgato HD, but, um, and then as you guys can see here, let me wrap around, uh, I got the HDMI cord that's for the Xbox, but uh, there's the red, yellow, white plugged in there. Now, you can use or you can plug this in the opposite way before I go in and explain how um, you actually plug this stuff up so um, the things you'll need really um, for the way I do it is just um, you can use a S video cable if your TV still uses that um, I've got a like a like a 46 inch Sony um, that's maybe about six years old um, maybe maybe less than that maybe about four but it doesn't have the S video in it anymore anyway um, it does have the little jack for it right there and then uh, as you guys can see I do have the little splitters in there and then I've also got um, a double sided red yellow white um, one side that is plugging into the TV up there and then one side that is uh, down in the dazzle uh, to record so as you guys can see there that's the actual um, that's the actual uh, RCA cable right there plugged into the PS3 now when you plug in your USB to your computer you will need um, Pinnacle Studio I will be um, going into my computer to actually show you guys how to or what uh, system I use to record the um, to record the gameplay from my computer so uh, stay tuned for that all right so Coming back, showing you guys uh, how I actually go about recording it. So, um, I use a program called Debut Video Capture. Like I said, I'll go into my computer and show you guys more about that. Um, I use um, basically the free, uh, unlicensed version. There's a few more features if you want to go into the licensed version. But as you guys can see, I turned on my PS3, and uh, how I use uh, this program is you just go into Options, and then uh, webcam and then you should see Dazzle DVC 100 come up uh, or whatever video capture card you use. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more to get that. Yeah, like I said, I'll go into my computer and actually show you guys. So, just hit OK and then uh, when you come up on device, there you guys can see just turn the TV on. Um, you guys can see how the screen from the PS2 or from the PS3, excuse me, obviously shows up. Um, on the computer. Now, obviously, all you have to do after this is hit record, and then you can record whatever comes up on there. And um, after that, I have a separate video editing program that I can use uh, that fits especially with debut called uh, the Video Pad Video Editor. After I record everything, if I want to add narration or anything, I just use that. All right, so like I said, I'm going to come back on my computer actually, and then uh, show you guys uh, a little bit further into that process. Okay, so as you guys can see here on my computer, um, I wanted to show you guys a little bit further into the process of basically like how I go about recording and then editing the videos actually on my computer. So, like I said, with my regular camera, I use Debut. It's a video capture system. It doesn't, you can't really do anything past just capturing the video. There are separate software linked to this for that. But uh, as I just showed you guys, all you have to do is go over to Options. Oh, apparently can do that. All right, so like I said, you go over to options, and then uh, Dazzle DVC 100, which is the video card capture card I use, will come up. Whatever capture card you use, um, 
or want to use will probably come up on there as well. So after it is captured, like I said, it, it, that's all you can really do on there. Uh, you can upload it to YouTube after if you just want to use the straight up recording. But if you don't want to do that, then uh, the program that's actually linked to it that I use is this thing called VideoPad Video Editor. Um, it takes the files directly from um, directly from basically how DB records and then uh, puts them into here. So I'm only using the demo version right now and uh, basically all you have to do is just add a file in here. Uh, let's just add this in here. Okay, that might take a little while. Um, let's add one that's a little bit quicker. Add this one right here, the one I just uploaded today. Let's see if it goes a little bit. Okay, none of these are taking, none of these are going very quickly. But anyway, um, all you have to do is just add this in here, and then, uh, boom! Here is your video. Drag it in here. Obviously, you can see the audio and the video. Now you can switch. Since I just, this is just me, but since I only use my own voice as the commentary, um, I only use the microphone for my computer. So while the uh, while the game is recording. It is recording what is going on outside, so you'll hear a little bit of the commentary obviously coming from the TV speakers, but then you'll also hear basically everything else going on in the background, um, whatever sound I guess the laptop is making or anything like that. But if you want to switch over completely to uh, just recording the audio from uh, whatever game you're playing, you can do that. You just have to go into the options and change that setting for the microphone. Um, you, I mean, obviously I've got my own intro. You can add all that in. Um, VideoPad makes it very easy to narrate. All you have to do is go up here and narrate it. And then, um, obviously, you can do your video editing right here. So, like I said, I just wanted to do a quick little video. Uh, basically, I've seen a lot of people that, um, you know, are trying to figure out the cheapest or best way to uh, do, like, gameplay commentary. It's become a pretty popular thing. And I just wanted to give my own take on how I do it. And um, the last thing I wanted to mention is if you are using uh, the Dazzle DVC 100, because I do not have the original disc from when I bought it. I bought the I bought the video capture card like five, six, maybe even seven years ago, and um, I used it a little bit when I first got it, but really didn't do anything with my gameplay commentary up until now. And you have to have the uh, Pinnacle Studio and the also the uh, da Pinnacle Dazzle DVC 100 driver just to be able to uh, basically read the information that the Dazzle is putting out from the TV or you know, whatever game you're playing. Obviously, you don't need a TV to be, I guess, recording this. You can just watch the watch the screen on your computer while you're playing it. The TV, the, it doesn't record straight from the TV. It records straight from whatever console you're playing with. But you can go on to Pinnacle's website. I'm going to put that link in the description below. The link to basically where you can download all the Dazzle uh, drivers that you would need or the studio. And I'm also... I, I, the, the process of downloading... Uh, debut and then video pad. Uh, the demo versions are free, but if you want to go download and pay for them, then that's an entirely separate thing. But like I said, these are the two that I use, and I think these are the two that also work very well for what I'm trying to do. Like I said, video pad is a very, very good, very, very simple and easy to use video editing software. It's not not really more advanced. If you're looking for more advanced stuff, uh, I mean the main one I use is Sony Vegas Pro, and that one has a little bit more options to work with. It's a little bit smoother when you run it through and render. But um, I use VideoPad for just simple gameplay commentary. If all that needs to be done is just a little bit of editing and narrating. But like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a little simple intro and how-to video of how I do the basics of my gameplay commentary. And if you're looking to use really any video capture card, that's the simple. That's just, this is the simple way to do it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya.